I have breaking news for you guys. Breaking news. T-Mobile is going to acquire U.S. Cellular. They officially made the announcement this morning. So for those of you who are questioning the price increases, saying it's not your responsibility to help with the cash flows, asking where is that money going, that additional money. And like I was telling you guys, I was already giving you hints that T-Mobile was going to use it to further compete, to further make purchases in the future for, for Spectrum, and then more M&A situations like this, merger and acquisition. So T-Mobile is going to, this, is, this deal is in total valued at $4.4 billion. So T-Mobile is virtually buying all of the, the wireless operations, all of the customers, the, uh, the stores. Um, also, there is a spectrum purchase involved here, around $2 billion worth. It's about, it's about 30% of, of the spectrum assets of U.S. Cellular. So I, I still anticipate that to only be 2.5 and 600 across the U.S. cellular footprint that where they own it. Also, what's interesting, T-Mobile is leasing. They're going into a long-term leasing deal of 2,100 cell sites of U.S. cellulars, which is what I talked about months ago when this was rumored. I said for T-Mobile to expand quicker, they needed those cell sites of US cellulars, and they're now getting them. So if you're looking at Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Oregon, you know, places where US cellular operates, that's going to help T-Mobile quickly expand the network. If you guys have been seeing my comment replies, I'm, I'm saying 12 to 18 months is what I anticipated where T-Mobile closes that remaining gap to the competition. I would now probably say because of the the amount of time that this takes to get to that this will take to gain approval about 18 to probably maybe 36 months I'll give them now because this is going to take time a little bit to integrate. So what they what they plan on doing annually it's going to cost about a billion dollars of capex to integrate this stuff. So T-Mobile is good at this. They have been advised. They have a great strategy team, great execution. They're going to execute this very well. They, they have a known playbook. Um, they did it with Metro. They did it with Sprint. So they're going to integrate these sites. They're going to add, they're going to add T-Mobile equipment onto these 2,100 sites. And then U.S. Cellular customers will be allowed to keep their plan if they want to. If they also want, they can choose a T-Mobile plan. It's, it's up to the customer. And and then uh, everything will stay the same. The uh, the U.S. cellular customer will have tremendously better network assets. They will have a larger network outside of their footprint. So right now, U.S. cellular is a regional player. But if you ever travel anywhere else outside of the native U.S. cellular footprint, you're roaming on someone else's network. Now, it's just all going to be native because you're going to be on the T-Mobile network. So... I would say the second that this closes and this this deal is expected to close mid 2025, they will open the T-Mobile will open up roaming for US cellular customers to its network. That's how that's going to work. And they're going to they're going to integrate this. This is going to be a much smaller uh, integration versus uh, versus Sprint. So they're going to integrate this very fast. I think they can do this within 12 month time frame where they integrate these sites and at their equipment, the stores, I mean, they, they know how to do this. The stores, they those stores will become T-Mobile stores. So, and I think that takes, you know, maybe six to 12 months to get those stores converted. And then boom, you, you now have T-Mobile stores in areas you didn't before. You, you're competing now for more market share. And this takes you well beyond 20% small market rural area market share. So, big deal. This is a huge deal this morning announced. Um, there's going to be uh, several other videos coming out on this. I got I to gotta read through all this stuff. There's another uh, more detailed portion of this on T-Mobile's investor relations. Uh, like I said, $4.4 billion. They're doing up to $2 billion. 
of debt that they're going to assume, which, eh, that's that's a drop in the bucket. T-Mobile's debt is like $77 billion, so now it's $79 billion, not, not a big deal. So, like I said, the transaction is, is expected to close mid-2025. This is the advisory team. Like I said, they were advised well. I, I was tipped off a, a few days ago on this that the that the entire operation would be sold. So we'll see what happens now. We'll see a lot of people. There's going to be a 50-50 out there. Some people are going to say this is cool, and then there's going to be others that are going to say, no, T-Mobile should be made to divest the customers or a portion of the customers. We'll see. It's going to go through the regulatory bodies. Like I said, T-Mobile has been in front of them a lot recently with Mint and now this again and then Lumos. And they're just all over the place right now. They, they got more money. They got a lot of cash flow. They want to spend it aggressively to bring more value to shareholders and, of course, to, ex- to aggressively expand the business. And this is one way to do it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you are new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.